Today we're checking the breeding box of the probably oldest uh, African um, flower beetle the, in the breeding scene, Macrinorina polyphemus confluence. Is this one? Here you see two dried males. It seems to be um, in the breeding in, in, since the 70s of the last century and it's pr probably mo one of the most easiest to breed at home and they don't live so long in captivity around two three months but they are very nice beetles and as I said they're easy to grow so if you start with uh, breeding with beetle breeding so start with polyphemus confluent I'm going to check now uh, for larvae. As you see, these beetles have been in here since um, February, so that's uh, around two months ago, and of course they already died here. This is the male, and this is the female here down there. Yeah. As you see, the females are a little bit glossy on the back. Yeah. If you have the right light on it, you see that it's like a holographic top of the females. So I'll uh, put them here and now let's have a look inside what we can find here. So you see it's already filled with larvae here. Two small ones. One is here. What is it? Uh, L1. First stage. Another one. L1 first stage I put them in a little box here and later I transfer them to a big box where I keep around 20 of them together but could be that we find also some eggs here let's have a closer look at it but I to see first is a little bit more L1 larvae here's another one now we have around five of them here Oh, look, this is full of it. Here's smaller L1, you see that? And this is an L2 with the bigger head capsule. And this is like a small L1, just hatched from the egg probably some days ago. So, we go on looking for lorry. Look, from one female, we have so many of them. One, two, three, four. It's completely filled. Uh, six, seven. So it's an easy to breed beetle. Eight. Yeah, look at here. And they are really fast moving. If it's warm, they are pretty fast. And like all the flower beetles, they go on the back. Yeah. Also, our European um, flower beetle, Cetonia aurata, it's always walking on the back. So that is easy to recognize if you found them in a compost pile. If you find so on, that's one, two. Five, six. So it's from one female. As I told you in the in other films about the flower beetles, don't put too many uh, wim, wi, um, females into one box because it, it's not going to be um, a better result uh, if you have too many females mostly what I've seen is that if you put two or three of them into a box uh, there's not, there aren't so many larvae than when you have only one in here look at that they're crawling around here the whole box is filled up with them so the polyphane beetle is pretty nice one they are not too big now here as you see them here they are around five between five and six centimeters they can grow up to seven if they are really big but then you have to uh, keep them one by one in a bigger box and um, yeah it's a little bit more uh, space consuming and also time consuming to rear them separate in boxes but you can keep around about five larvae in one box Till they are big L3 and then after L3 you should move them um, one by one into a 5 liter box so they get 
as big as this one here. I put them all together, about 20 of them, in a 65 liters box, so I can leave them alone and forget them, and in half an year they should be the new generation of flower beetles, make Hunorino polyfam, the polyfam beetle coming out of the pupa. Thanks for watching.